Good day folks, I appreciate the click on the video. If you haven't subscribed, you feel free to do so and hit the little bell for notification when I put up a new video. Today is uh, going to be a video about just a day in the life at the off-grid cabin. We're down here now for Easter break and uh, just today we're just going to be hopefully getting a little bird hunting in. Maybe go out and do a bit of ice fishing, pack in a bit of wood. This, uh, just what we do on a daily basis. We can't really do much going on skidoo now because the going's getting pretty soft and you, you can go, it's just not real comfortable, you know? But out on the lakes and that is still pretty good getting around pretty solid. We still got three plus feet of ice in the lakes and the snow has settled down pretty good now. So when you drill holes, there's no trouble to get a day or so fishing before you got to move because slob takes over. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we'll do a video over for you and hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. A couple of weeks ago the folks were in town and the weather wasn't that great so we took the tent and sat it up just behind us here the Eskimo 9416i lit the wood stove and mom really wanted to go ice fishing now all she's used to catching is you know pan sized speckled trout brook trout and that and scatter a couple of pounder big excitement so we were there fishing every now and then she said oh i think i had a bite i was like no 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 that wasn't a bite you get to bite here it's a chomp you know you got a bite we were there chatting away and all of a sudden she just stood up and she had <laughs> she's like, I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was well worth the work of sitting in the tent and up, let me tell you. But she ended up with a 12 pound Northern Pike, which is why I'm out here today. I can't end this season with her having the biggest fish. Can't happen. We're gonna do this for a while and we might have to net everything. <laughs> 
Well, we got four holes down here now, a couple of tip ups, so we can see them right from the step of the cabin there. We're only what, a couple hundred yards from the cabin. We can fish from the front step and watch the tip ups. <laughs> With any luck at all, we'll get that northern pike I'm looking for. There's all kinds of species here in this lake. Our neighbor there, Leon, last year, after we fishing most of the day and never got a bite, he had his hooks out there too. And when I get back to town, I get the pictures of the two white fish and a couple of lake trout and a couple of <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't rub it in there, honey. <laughs> but they're down in Florida, no? But I don't, uh, I don't know. I think I'd rather this than Florida. <laughs> Big fisherman there. See, you got lakes of you hook on doing that. All I gotta hold on to your feet, keep you up out of us. <laughs> what a nice dry stick of wood I got. for the fire. Dry tops there for the witches here. Leaf to collars. What do you think about young Willer? Think the world of it? <laughs> Five minutes it'll change again. What we're banking on anyway, if not we're gonna have to seek shelter back to the cabin. Luckily it's just right there. Here, going down next net pitching. One over here, here on the rock, another one in right there. They're a bit wild this morning, but I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can't get them. It's really sinky. When you step off the skidoo to shoot, you almost goes to your neck. <laughs> oh. Get off this one. On the rock, this fella was. Nice little bird. A rough pick, this one now. You know, the, I really enjoy getting out, getting a few birds this time of year. Now I got some more sausages to make, some alouettes to make, and. Loves having a few in the fridge for Sunday dinner. It's a great sport too. I don't do it for the food, of course, but <laughs> we do it for the sport too. How it happens when you're bird hunting, eh? I seen one over right here across on this little ridge. Like more than I can't find, but I see two more over on the next ridge. <laughs> 
I'm going to circle down around the bottom here and I'll see if I can find that and I'm going to work my way over towards those two. Few birds there, they're all around me. There, there, one right there. There's another one there. Now they're walking it across. All the birds are taking to the naps now. I'm dying now. I gotta get some more shells. Run to the shells. Put a few in my pocket here now. Walk up across this ridge, see if I can get a shot at them. That fella there seems pretty tame. He don't seem too too concerned about what's going on here. <laughs> Got his pooch on me. He really, really likes that for shotgun chills. Shooting again. Ooh. Over there, pitched down inside the rock. <laughs> Where'd he go? Got him. Soft, everything is getting now. Getting up around midday now. This is normal. Not good. Just gonna circle around now and head her back towards the towards the road. I'm not gonna chase those birds. Well, folks, I guess that brings us back to the end of another video. We got all the hooks and that taken up for today. Just got back with a load of wood there, the young fella throwing out. You get uh, a bit of temperature drop, so it's a bit decent. We're getting around again now. And uh, we're still on the chase of that monster pike. There's going to be another video upcoming. We're going to start again tomorrow. A uh, good friend of ours, Tony Stid, dropped by, our neighbor, and gave me a bit of advice on uh, what bait to use and how to go about it. And he got many years experience at this down here, so I'm inclined to believe him. We're going to give it a go. So stay tuned for part two of this for sure. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. So uh, we're getting ready to hit back up now after we get this all straightened away. I'm back down for the fishing video. If you like what we're doing, you can uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, you get notification when I put up videos. Till next time, stay safe.